What's up guys and welcome back to another video and I have to apologise again. I apologise a lot to you guys about my lack of uploading over this current weekend. Obviously I'm recording this on the 8th I believe, I think. My iPad won't tell me the top. Yeah, the 8th. The 8th. Um, I'm recording this on the 8th of January. Um, it's going to be going up on the Monday the 9th. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually been playing FIFA at all this week. Um, my girlfriend goes home back to you, or they go back to uni tomorrow on the Monday. So I've been spending as much time as I can with her. Obviously, you guys probably probably understand what's going. Um, you know, being apart, etc., etc. You know, I was spending so much time with her. So I just that's you know, that was my main focus. But you know, I've managed to get this video done, recorded, um, today, and it's going to be going up on Monday. Like I said. We are bringing you a second episode. I've only done two of these. I'm astonished. I thought I'd done more of FIFA Legends. Um, today we are going for a Brazilian CDM who has actually just gone back to um, the Brazilian league. It's Felipe Melo. And we're going for a Nigerian striker. Always been OP. Um, and that's Emmanuel Emanike. We're going in a 4 1 2 1 2. A second variant with the two, uh, with the two centre mids. I was going to go with a single striker, single CDM, but the only ones there are the 4-3-2, full 3-3-2, three, three, and the 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one, and neither of those are amazing formations. So I thought I'd go with this one. You know, I love this formation, and I think Amanika would work well with a partner, which he did. He worked phenomenally well with a partner. But we start off in goal in the Bundesliga with Jar Stein uh, from Hertha Berlin, in form card. 78 diving, 82 reflexes, 80 handling, 77 kicking, and 83 positioning. He's six foot three. Cost me 22k and he started off brilliantly. I didn't concede a goal in about 160 minutes of game time. Um, but then, you know, it all fell apart and I got battered in the game. I then played at like 4 four five one, Something stupid like that. But he, did, he honestly, he didn't do too badly. Sometimes he's a bit shit, but sometimes he was, he was pretty, pretty decent. But the thing about him that I love, he gets a strong link to this man. Oh! What a card he is. I want to always call him, call him Tony Stark with the Iron Man, but it's not his Nicholas Stark. Who does partner up with Miranda? Perfect link to Felipe Mello. So we'll start off with the silver Nicholas Stark. 77 pace, 73 dribbling, uh, sorry, 73 defending, and 77 physical. 6 foot 2, medium, medium work rates. Um, same age as me, 21 years old, which is crazy. 5,000 coins he cost me, so he's not cheap, but he is honestly better than Miranda. Hands down, I'm saying this. 12 ratings lower, he was better than Miranda. But Miranda himself was no slouch. 75 pace, 89 defending, and at 77 physical. 6 foot 1, medium, medium work rates. Uh, again, I think they got the same 3 star, we put 2 star skill moves. That I am correct. Difference is Miranda costs about 10,000 coins more. 15,000 coins I pay for him. But on it, obviously, he you're going to pay that for his card. He is brilliant. I absolutely, absolutely love him. Uh, left back, we go for a French from the Serie A, and that's Patrice Evra. And at right back, we go for a German, obviously, to get a strong link to Nicolas Stark. And it is the sweat, cheap sweat lord, Daniel Brozinski. 86 pace, 73 dribbling, 70, uh, sorry, 70 defending, and 70 physical. It's 5 foot 10, high medium work rates. Um, I bought 2.8k when I first bought him. You know, does that have an issue? No, it doesn't have an issue, does it? No. No, it doesn't. Um, but he's played 30 games for me. He scored two goals. So for a right, left, right back with me, that's not too shabby. Patrick Zeva is at left back. He's probably, in my opinion, the weak link because of his pace. Everything else about him, he is solid, but it's just his pace that really, really irritates me. But I've, you know, rumours in the grapevine and all that that he could be coming back to Manchester United, which would be. Amazing. I've I've always loved Patrick Zebra. But his FIFA card this year is 82 rated, 77 pace, 76 dribbling, 83 defending, 72 passing, and 73 physical. It's five foot nine, a medium high work rates, which is nice to have on a left back. Um but 10 games for me haven't con hasn't contributed to any goals, but obviously he's a left back. I don't expect him to. First FIFA legend, Felipe Melo. The reason he is a FIFA legend, FIFA 12, I think. I'm pretty sure it's FIFA 12. Galatasaray saves the penalty, gets that cheeky informed bronze card. Oh my god, what a banterous thing for FIFA to do, or for EA to do, sorry. It was absolutely awesome, but he has always been one of my favourite CDMs on this game, wherever he played in the Serie A, Super League, Brazilian League, wherever he's played, he has been phenomenal. And his card this year is so, so good. 69 pace, 73 dribbling, 69 shooting, 77 defending, 71 passing, and 84 physical. 6 foot tall, medium high work rate, so he is a proper solid CDM. He is there just to defend. Two goals, two assists in 14 games, playing CDM in every single one of them. 
Right centre mid, we go for a French from the BPL. That is N'Golo Kante. And from the on the right side, we go for a Brazilian. The only non-rare in the team, but he is needed for chemistry. It is Souza. Apologies if you did hear my phone. N'Golo Kante is obviously one centre mid, and what a centre mid this guy is. 80 pace, 77 dribbling, 80 defending, 74 passing, and 83 physical. It's five foot seven, medium high work rates, one goal, two assists in six games. Cost 19.75k, so he is really not cheap, but he is is a phenomenal phenomenal card um you see him in everyone's uh, weekend league sweat league teams you know every single time he's in there just because he's just that good yusuf soza is brilliant honestly i loved him 70 pace 75 dribbling 76 defending 71 passing and 82 physical he's even got 69 shooting which isn't too bad six foot two medium medium work rates four so weak for two star skill moves uh two goals and one assist in the six games um you know, he was brilliant. This whole team itself was so good. I just couldn't fault it. I started off so well and just absolutely love this team. At Cam, we have probably found my new favourite Cam. I absolutely adored Oscar. He was fucking awesome. Such a shame he's gone to the Chinese League now, so he's not going to be on FIFA next year. But he cast stats this year are 77 pace, 83 dribbling, 75 shooting, and 79 passing. It's 5 foot 10, medium high work rates, 3 star weak foot, and 4 star skill moves. 5 goals, 2 assists in 6 games. So a phenomenal, phenomenal ratio for me for a Cam. Medium high, didn't even realise. Did not even notice those. Um, those work rates. He was always in the box, ready to go. <coughs> Apologies, guys. He was always there, ready to go. You know, just getting goals, getting assists, and he worked so well with the two strikers. Oh, I had to have a bit of drink. Choke, choke now. Uh, the first striker we go for is a silver from the BPL. It is Kalechi Ihenacho. I've used this guy three times, I think. First time, I used him for a game, got rid of him straight away. Second time, I used him for a game, got rid of him straight away. These were back when he was worth like 30, 20, 30k. He's now worth just 6.5k, and I really warrant spending that much money on him. 87 pace, 74 dribbling, 73 shooting, 6 foot 2, high medium work rates, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves, 3 goals and 4 assists in 6 games. So he was there to get the assists to more or less Oscar and Emanike, but he is brilliant, you know, he's got pace, he's strong, he's tall, great shooting, great finishing, great dribbling, you know, all you want in a striker and he is silver in the BPL playing for one of the best teams in Man City. The final member of this team and the second FIFA legend, Emmanuel MNEK. I put him in here based on one card alone, like I did with Felipe Melo, for his right forward, 81, I believe. Man of the match card from when he played at Spartak Moscow in the Russian League from FIFA 12. What a card that was. He's still not changed. He's still incredibly good. 83 pace, 75 dribbling, 74 shooting and 80 physical. 6 foot tall, high low work rates, 4 star weak for 3 star skill moves, 5 goals and 1 assist in 6 games. Um, he has just got the perfect mix of strength and pace. That is all I wanted out from him and that's what I got. He was pushing past and speeding past Benucci, Barzagli, Koscielny, Smalling, Bailly. Everyone that I come up against, he was absolutely dominating, making them look like a bronze really that's all he was doing and i honestly love him i love this team i, I say it every single time but go and try it it's so so good especially oscar oops oscar ianacho emanika obviously obviously everyone knows who kante is nicholas stark if i've used him use him he is phenomenal that has been a team i hope you've all enjoyed as always there will be links in the description to my twitter and instagram go down there drop me a follow and i know and as always i really can't get my words out there will be some clips at the end please like please subscribe and I'll see you all bye guys That we spoke, yet yeah, only with our eyes. Now is the time to choose. Somebody wins and some lose. I can see through your disguise.